in this session we are going to discuss about the finalized method in java finalized method in java is actually related to the you can say garbage collection so if you want to understand what is garbage in java or what is garbage collection you can watch these videos on my channel these are available in both language hindi and english i will provide the link of this video in the description of this video okay uh, but uh, to understand a little bit about the uh, you can say garbage collection i am going to give you idea that in java garbage means the objects which is not referenced by any reference variable so for example you can see that here object 1 is referenced by s1 but object Two is not referenced by any reference variable, so it 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 is not it is useless. So Java assume that it is useless. Then it try to find out these type of object and then destroy it. So this is you can say little bit idea about the you can say garbage collection. Now if you talk about you can say finalized method, what is the role of finalized method in this whole process? So finalized method of object class is a method that the garbage collector always calls just before the deletion of the object. which is eligible for the garbage collection to perform the cleanup it means what happens that your garbage collection process or algorithm always calls this finalized method which is available in the object class it always calls this finalized method so that it can destroy all the object which are available in the memory and are eligible for garbage collection which means which are not used by any reference variable so this is you can say finalized method if you talk about why, what do you mean by uh, clean up uh, process so clean up activity means closing the resources associated with that object like if you are using any database connection with that object if you are making a network connection or you can say in short if some resources are allocated to that and you are deallocating that okay so we will see that whole things with the help of a program also so let me complete the theoretical part then i will show you this one i am going to show you the complete process with the help of this employee class that how i will create object and will show you that how it destroy okay so now here the important thing is that once the finalized method completes garbage collector destroyed that object means when the finalized method is called by the garbage collector and when it is completes then garbage collector destroy that object here okay if you see the syntax of your uh, you can say finalized method it is a protected method and it is available in the object class okay so here you can say since the object class contains the finalized method hence finalized method is available for every class why because you know that object is the super class of all java classes it means the functions which are available in the object class that will be available in the all you can say sub classes okay so since it is available for every java class garbage collector can call the finalized method on any object very easily okay so in short what is the summary is here whenever garbage collector finds that okay this object is not used by any reference variable then it calls the finalized method on that and when the finalized method is completed then object is destroyed this is the summary of the you can say garbage collector and the what is the role of finalized method i told you finalized method is actually actually doing this process to destroy the you can say object here okay now we will see this thing practically also how we'll see that for that purpose let me take the example of this one i have employee class which contains two property employee id and employee name here so in my main user class i created a object of employee and then i set some uh, property values like employee id 5 employee name equal to pradeep here so now you can say now this object is created uh, uh, when the program will run it will allocate some memory okay now it means this obj reference will point a object in the memory that is new employee so a, a object is pointing to a uh you can say object reference is pointing to a, a, a actual object in the memory so now what i will do one thing when this program will be completed means you can say i have set everything now i want to make that ref object free so how i can make that free obj dot equal to null okay in my garbage uh, you can say collection uh, that uh, program i have already told you about this thing like you can see that uh, what are the different ways to collect garbage you can make reference to object null you can use anonymous object so i have explained it in the detail you can again watch that video okay now let me come back to the you can say class here so i have created a employee object then i set the properties and and after that i want to release this object so i simply say that object equal to null when i say object equal to null it will or the object will be free from the reference now it will be free 
So now after that, what will have happen when this program will run? It will automatically release the object. Let me run this. Okay. Now the question is that how I can show you this thing. So I can show you this thing that how the process, this process takes place because that is automatically, uh, you can say, uh, happens uh, or uh, controlled by the JVM. JVM calls that, you can say, finalized method. But how it calls, I will tell you. So for that purpose, let me show you one thing. First of all, my finalized method is available in every class. So I will do one thing. I will override this method in my employee class so that I can show you that in which scenario it is calling. So in Eclipse, you can go to the source. Then you can go to the, you can say generate, uh, where is that? Overwrite implement method. Just go to there, click on this finalized method and simply okay. So now you can see that it has already, you can say override this method. So instead of that, I will simply do one thing. I will simply write some message here so that you can see it easily. So I will say that employee finalized. So when this method will be called, you can easily uh, find it that it is called or not because this message will be print in the console here. So I've written this method. Okay. Now I can show you this thing that when my this program will run, it will create the object. And uh, after that, I will make it null. And here I'm just uh, giving some message here. Like you can say that program completed. Program is completed. So when this program will run, still you will see that. Let me run this program. And you can say that you have able to see this message. This message because after this one object become the object with this object, which is you can say free on this line 12, it is become eligible for the garbage collector. Now garbage collector algorithm will decide internally when they will call the, you can say finalized map. Okay, now, but I can show you one thing that we have also an option that we can also from our side call that garbage collector algorithm. How we can call it? Let me show you. After this object uh, equal to null, I'm going to call that garbage collector. Uh, you can say process and the process is very simple. There is a class system and there is a method that's called GC. Oh, sorry, not this one. GC, GC. There is a method that is called GC. So when this you are going to call this method, whenever you are going to call this method explicitly, it means you are calling the garbage collector algorithm or you can say process. You are forcefully saying that just run the garbage collector algorithm and indirectly behind the scene what it do, it actually you can say call this finalized method. Means by we don't need to write this code, automatically it happens. But I want to show you that whenever Java you can say find any object, it automatically calls. It doesn't mean that when I make object null and instantly it is going to be called. It will call according to its own time and algorithm. But here I'm going to call it explicitly. So let me show you. I will call this method GC and GC indirectly will call the finalized method. So let me run this code and see that it's working or not. So now you can say that I have not never called the employee finalized method, but how the employee finalized method is called because the system dot GC is nothing. I'm calling the garbage collector algorithm or function and indirectly this function call the finalized method of the object so that it can release it. So when I'm calling GC, GC internally calling this final method and you can say why it is printing because it is called by the GC. Okay. So I hope you understand what is the concept of you can say that garbage collector and how finalized method take place. Finalized method is only you can say used to complete this process to destroy the object. If still you have any doubt, you can put your doubts in the comment of this video. And if you have not subscribed my channel, you can subscribe.